Hello, welcome to IF, videos on history, mystery and the strange. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Humanity, we are one of the most prevalent creatures on planet earth. We have controlled our environment in such a way that we stack ourselves into high rise condominiums and live in densely packed congested cities. But there are still those that do not. We have seen people living in remote areas and regions from the tribes of Papua New Guinea to the lost tribes of the Amazon. These are the humans who live on the very edges of modern civilization. Their lives hearkening back to a way of life long forgotten by those that live in the urban jungle. There have been many other mysterious groups of humans that are said to have existed. In this video we take a look at these groups and ask if they did indeed exist. The first group we are going to take a look at are known as the Toda. Toda people make their homes in the Nilgiri mountains in the south of India. When Britain controlled India under the Raj they became fascinated by the Toda. Their appearance was unique for the region. They were of fair complexion with light eyes. Their likeness was said to resemble that of ancient Greek statues. They also wore unusual clothing for that region. They wrapped themselves in cloth much like the Highlanders of Scotland. They had an unusual language known as Dravidian. As a society they were a polyandry. This is when a woman marries all males in a family. As a people they are considered a model for sustainability and commitment with non-violence. The next group of humanity we will look at are even more mysterious. The Yamnaya. This nomadic people swept across Europe some 5000 years ago. Originating from the Pointic Caspian steppe they took technology and their ability to tame horses with them. They were accomplished workers of bronze and used wheeled wagons to travel. They traveled so wide and far that a large part of European DNA is from the Yamnaya and some say we can thank them for our ability to digest lactose allowing us to drink milk. The third human tribe we are going to look at is a little harder to believe. The Blemies. This people were said to be a nomadic race that existed from 600 BC to the 3rd century. These people were said to have no heads, instead they had a face on their torso. They were said to be cannibals and have been found in literature for centuries. They are more often than not depicted as bloodthirsty and violent and it was even said that they were employed to guard the temple of King Solomon. The truth however is a little less spectacular. They often worked as mercenaries against the Roman Empire. Over the centuries they fought with many different kings and queens. As a culture they practiced sun worship. Their religion was centered at the temples of Calabasha and Philae. This is where a lion like divinity called Mandalus could be found. And from a tribe that was said to have no head to a tribe that was said to have the head of a dog. Known as Cynocephaly these people had normal bodies with heads exactly like those of our canine friends. It was said that although they could understand speech they did not possess the ability to speak. They were said to be savage in nature loving to hunt and kill. This people it is claimed lived around 400 BC. Reports from the time said that they originated in India near the Indus river. They ate only raw meat and survived by hunting. They were also said to be master warriors with claims that they could not be defeated in battle. It was also said that they lived up to 200 years which would be amazing as they resided in caves and did not bathe. One of these dog headed people holds an important role in Christianity. Saint Christopher the patron saint of travelers is often shown as a dog headed man. In his story it is said that upon meeting Christ he was changed into a normal man on his baptism. But more religions than just Christianity have dog headed men as part of their pantheon. From ancient Egypt to medieval Germany they have always stalked our history but are they real? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And why not join the growing members of the notification tribe 
by hitting that red button and ringing that bell. Follow us on social media, like and share. Thanks for watching. Until next time.